so guys this is our ESP32 based drone and many users having issue in flying it and calibrating it so today I will be making a specific video on this how we can calibrate and apply this very easy so let's start the video so guys first of all you need to understand that this is our front side and this is back side so whenever you place the drone you need to keep it on flat surface and then only turn on it so you need to keep this antenna towards you so after that you just turn it on and wait for it and you will see the propellers rotate once so now it's ready to pair and now we will connect to the mobile app and I will show you on the left side how we do settings so guys here is our ESP drone app first of all you can see uh, our joystick from the left side can move all direction so for the beginning what we will do we will just disable this button and now our joystick will only move up and down which will be for controlling the thrust it won't move left or right so what we will do is now we have connected our drone to the, our Wi-Fi network you can see like this and also you need to turn on the location so after that you can see uh, we will click on connect and it will get connected and you can see the LED status on the drone so now let's fly and you will see it will go like left or right or sometimes front so let's see you see it's going on left so we will try again as it was going towards the left so we need to put the settings on the right so let's try again now I'm changing the setting so if it was going to the left it means the it was roll trim setting and it was going to the left we will move the roll trim to the right a little bit towards the right and we will keep the pitch trim same now let's go back again click on connect and now let's try to fly again and let's see what happens you can see now it's going a little bit left again so we need to again calibrate it so we will again go back and inside the settings we will again increase the roll trim like this and let's try again so it's connected so now just fly it and you can see now it's going little bit of front in the front and also left so now we will uh, do more settings let me show you again we go inside the settings now it was going a little bit forward also to the left so we will keep this one and as it was going towards the front we will do a little bit in the negative side the pitch trim and now let's try again so it's connected and now you can see it's a little bit stable again it's going on the left so we will do some more settings so let's try again so for the first time you need to calibrate this and after that it will fly really easily so let's just uh, increase the trim let's make it uh, 0 0.2 and let's see what happens and again we will try to fly it it's getting connected and now connected and now we can fly Now it's going a little bit towards the front, so again we will do some settings. So let's bring it to the location back. Now let's do the pitch trim as it was going front. We will do it a little bit like this. And now let's try again. And now you can see it's got uh, stable. You can see how it well it flies. It will go a little bit towards the left or right after calibration and you need to control it manually as it's only having a one sensor MPU6050. We don't have any barometer to keep it on the same place. So this is how we calibrate our drone and you can fly it really easily.